have Brady, both men and lady. He is Robert Reed, I'm Florence Henderson. Joel Siegel, TV's top critic. He may pan this show before the evening's done. Here's Jenny Jones now, the Star Search winner, who looks beautiful and still is lots of fun. And from top 40, there's Shadow Stevens. All the women say that he's the sexy one. And Jim J. Bullock, beyond description, he got shot a lot in and he gets your gun. Let's play our bishop, a guy named Joey. There is nothing this Rat Packer hasn't done. Here's Erwin Corey, the mad professor. He's the world's foremost authority, bar none. From country music, m m m Mel Tillis, <laughs> who is Nashville's favorite s -s -s son. And in the center, our own Joan Rivers, who's our Broadway baby, baby. What a run with a Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Florence, by the way, our opening today was in honor of the Brady Bunch reunion to our film for television, right, Florence and Robert, that's coming up? Right. Absolutely, with all of us back there in tow, Andy Davis. And our Davis. grandkids, too. Well, you've never left television in all the 23 years since the show was, well, you're still on the air. <laughs> Thank you for being with us all this week. We have a challenger and a, and a reigning champion today. Our challenger, would you welcome Kip Lee to our show. Hi, Kip. Tell us something about yourself. What do you do? Well, John, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in California now for about a year, and I work as a software engineer in the South Bay. Well, good. We're glad you're here. Good luck on the show. Our reigning champion has already won $2,600. She has my wife's first name, which excites me, and maybe not you as much. Her name is Rhonda Cecil. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Tell the stars something about yourself. I just recently moved to California from North Carolina, and I would like to say hello to my grandmother who's celebrating her 88th birthday. Let's hope she's watching. Hi, Grandma. Good luck on the show, Rhonda. Here's how you do well. You win tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down or diagonally. Acquire as many squares as you can. You can win that way. Each game is worth $500. Third's worth $1,000, so you can play catch-up. Whoever amasses the most amount of money will have a chance to drive away and see the USA in a Chevrolet. Aren't they nice? Challenges start, Kip. Pick a square. Let's get started. Joan Rivers in the Joan center. Joan Rivers! Hi, Kip. Joan the A.C. Nielsen Company tells us that senior citizens watch this Sunday night television show more than any other. What show is it? 80-something. <laughs> <laughs> and they watch it over and over and over again. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Sunday night. Uh, Sunday night. Sunday um, night. I bet you it's... Murder, she wrote. Kip, what do you think? I disagree. No, she's exactly right. Murder, she wrote. A circle gets a square. Over to you, Rhonda. Pick a square. Joel Siegel, please. Joel Siegel, our critic from Good Morning America. Hi, Joel. Hi there. We didn't get a chance to talk to you yesterday on the show. But and I'm, and I'm we ready today. It. Yeah, we're glad you're here. We've enjoyed you on Good Morning Thank America. Thank you. But do you know this? According to Paul Newman's Popcorn Company, when Columbus arrived in the New World, the Indians had already discovered popcorn as a tasty food item, but what else did they do with the popcorn? They made a lot of money selling it during intermission at the movies. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they used it for articles of clothing. They would string it, they would use it for beads, they would use it for junk jewelry, they would make headdresses, war bonnets. Rhonda, like what do you think? Camp. The man is a critic. I'll agree. Well, that's it, yeah. Decorating, corsages, necklaces, yeah. Circle gets a square. Kip, pick a square. Lawrence Anderson and Robert Reed. Our Brady Bunch champions, Lawrence and Robert Reed. Hi, Mom and Dad. Well, hi there, Sonny. It, let, let's think back to the years of Brady Bunch. During that same time, that same era, uh, look on your monitor. We have a picture of another child actor from that same time, shown the way he looks today. Question is, what show was he on? Slow. Well, it looks it, like Danny Bonaduce. Does he look familiar at all? Can I see him one more time? Can you show the picture once more? You take it, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> he always does that when he's not sure. Okay. Um, well, let's go with you. Let's say Danny Bonaduce. 
from Kip? the Partridge family. Kip, what do you think? This is for the block? I agree. That's exactly it. <laughs> Look again. Here's the way he was from the Partridge family. Little Danny Bonaduce. Very nice, Florence and Robert. Uh, X gets a square. You got the block. Run to pick a square. Um, Mel Tillis, please. Mel Tillis from Nashville. In Greek mythology, as one of Hercules' 12... Next time on... The Big Tennis Star. Very nice, Mel. X gets the square. Run to Cecil Crick Square. Florence Henderson and Robert. Florence and Robert from the Brady Bunch. Florence and Robert, true or false, sardines and yogurt, ooh, are good sources of calcium. True yes. or false? And if you mix them together, they get rid of cockroaches and termites and everything. Sardines and yogurt. I don't know how they work this out, but the, true or false, is that a good source of calcium? Calcium. I, I'd I say it, so. it is a great source of calcium. Yes. Rhonda, what do you think? I'll agree. It is true. Yeah. Very good. Circle gets a square. Kip, what are you going to do now? Joel Siegel for the block. From Good Morning America, film critic Joel Siegel. Joel will... We are back, and Kip has chosen this fabulous S10 blazer and Jenny Jones in her key, and of course our Brady Bunch couple, uh, Florence Anderson and Robert Reed, and the, Bra the blazer's worth 18000 Shadow, tell us about the blazer. Well, the S10 blazer 4x4 with standard, shipped on the fly, instant track for fun on and off the road, the S10, today's Chevy truck. You've already won Kip $900. Let's see if you can win the blazer. Audience of stars, he's going to turn on the count of three, help him out. One, two, three. when it does that. Kip, that's the bad news. Good news is you still have your $900. You'll come back as our reigning champion. Have a chance to stay here as long as you keep winning and maybe try another Chevrolet. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see all of you tomorrow. The Brady Bunch will be here. We'll all be here. Bye-bye. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following. Enjoy this holiday season with the new Lifesavers Holiday Keepsake Tin and Traditional Sweet Storybook, both perfect holiday gifts. And Ariel de Fragenar, the beautiful new French fragrance, passionate, sensuous, flirtatious. Ariel de Fragenar turns fantasy into reality. Tonight at 7 and 11, only on Channel 11. From Broadway bound, Joan Rivers. The world's foremost authority, Professor Irwin Corey. From country music, Mel Tillis. From Too Close for Comfort, Jim J. Bullock. From TV and movies, Joey Bishop. From the Brady Bunch, Lawrence Henderson and Robert Reed. From Good Morning America, film critic Joel. Top 40 Shadow Stevens. Welcome to Hollywood Squares, everybody. Hi, welcome, stars. Hi, Hello, John. Isn't it nice to be here and entertain these lovely people? We have a challenger on my left. I'd like to welcome Cheryl Wright. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome to Hollywood Square. Tell us, stars, something about yourself. I'm married to a wonderful man. I have a two and a half year old little girl, and I'm a native Californian. Let's hope the whole family's watching today. Good luck I on the show. So. Our reigning champs already won $900. Welcome back, Kip Lee, to our show. Hi, Kipper. How are you? Tell us sorry, something about yourself. Well, John, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and living in California now for a little over a year. Live at the beach and love every minute of it. Do you know Atlanta, Georgia is one of our strongest cities? Hi, everybody in Atlanta. Hope you're watching us there. We do very well there. Good luck on the show. Here's how you do well. You win tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down or diagonally, or require as many squares as you can. Winning this game receives $500 in cold cash, $1,000 for the third game. And if you do well, by the end of the show, the most money, you could have a chance to drive away in a beautiful Chevrolet. Oh! oh. As always, our challenge is start. Cheryl, pick a square, earn it by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square. Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers! Joan. John. If you cross a yak and a buffalo, 
Will you get anything? Probably a thank you note from the yak. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> you're always giving me these questions. I think it's, yeah, what did we ask you the other day? The Can cow you... and the zebra. Yeah. And the answer was yes. Well, this is a yak and a buffalo. Everybody's getting together. Yak and a buffalo, yeah. why not? You get a buffa yak. She... <laughs> Cheryl, she says, why not? What do you think? I disagree. It, no, why not? It's called a yakalo. See? A, a yakalo. The answer is yes. X gets a square. Kip, pick a square. Joey Bishop. Joey Bishop is here on the Hollywood Square. <laughs> Joey, true or false? During sexual arousal, ooh, earlobes redden, swell, and become unusually sensitive to touch. True or false? At my age, that's all that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, uh, this is just from memory now, <laughs> I would say true. He says true, Kip. What do you think? I'll agree. It is true. Your earlobe's written, I guess. Over to you, Cheryl. Pick a square. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. Bullock, the man, Hi, the legend. Hi, Jim. Hi, Hugh John. Hefner. Hugh Hefner oh, recently yeah. announced his engagement to former Playboy bunny, Kimberly Conrad. Oh, yeah. Now, picture this. Half mm -hmm. is 62. Mm -hmm. Is Miss Conrad 24, 34, 44? No, no, you got those numbers wrong. It's, it's, it's 44. <laughs> no, 24, no. 34. I mean her age. Oh, you devil. Is she, oh. is she 24, 34, or 44 years of age, Jim? Oh. Uh -huh. I am so kooky. <laughs> <laughs> um... She's young. She's 24. We, yeah, I was going to say, being 46, which one of these do you find young? Yeah. I, I, uh, you say 24. This is before the block. Cheryl, what do you think? He says 24. I agree. Yeah, it's Hefner's second marriage. 24 is right. Circle gets a square. <laughs> Kip, over to you. Pick a square. Mel Tillis. Mel Tillis from Nashville, Tennessee. Now, you wrote that great song, Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town, made a big hit by a lot of people, but uh, Kenny Rogers in particular. According to the World Book, which is rare, speaking of rubies, a perfect ruby or a perfect diamond? Yeah. Yeah. Which is rare? I would say uh, a diamond. Kip, what do a you perfect think? perfect diamond. I'll have to agree. No, a perfect ruby is rarer than a diamond. It's an educational show. Circle gets a square. Cheryl, pick a square. Florence Henderson. Florence and Henderson and Robert hey. Reed. Hey. Florence and Robert. It was an ancient Inca custom that if two people took off their sandals and handed them to each other, it signified something. What did it mean? They couldn't stand the smell of their own feet. I don't know. Uh, if they exchange shoes? Yeah, take off their sandals and exchange them, hand them to each other. What did that them, mean? It had to be a gesture because it couldn't be practical because they wouldn't fit each other. I, think, I bet it's marriage. I say engaged or married. Yeah. This or would be for the win. It's worth $500. Cheryl, they're betrothed. They say it means they, they betrothed. What do you think? I agree. Circle gets a square. They were married. Very nice. We'll be right back. Secret Square Game is next. Stay with us. Let's hear it. The Hollywood Square. In a new survey, a thousand doctors were asked. From the country music stage, Mel Tillis. From the upper flight deck, Jim J. Bullock. From the Joey Vision Show, the man himself. From a very pretty Christmas, Florence Henderson and Robert Reed. From film criticism, Joel Siegel. From comedy club, coast to coast, Jenny Jones. And me, get your radio ready, Mama, Shadow Stevens. We are the new Hollywood Square. And here's your host, John Nevison. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares on this Friday. Hello, Squares. Hi, John. 
Well, Melissa's here with Joan. Hi, Melissa. Welcome back from college or on your way to, co well, whichever time of year this is visiting shown. Visiting her mother. Yes, visiting home. Nice. Brought the laundry home to get cleaned and uh, whatever. <laughs> well, uh, we should say that our champion and, uh, is back after, t after a day's rest. Yesterday, we gave money to charities with Florence and Robert up here. And our reigning champion is back. Let's meet our challenger first, Ken Easton. Welcome to the Hollywood Square. Let's have a nice hand for Ken. Tell us, Sarge, something about yourself. Yes, I'm from Fullerton, California. I've got a lovely wife and two beautiful children. Great. Let's hope they're all watching Fullerton, California. On our left, our reigning champion already has $1,500. Hi, well, Cheryl. Welcome back. Cheryl Wright is here. <laughs> Tell us, Sarge, something about yourself. I'm married, and I teach at a local fashion college. Great. Oh, what do you teach? Merchandise marketing. Ooh, sounds very intelligent. Good luck on the show. Well, let's hope you do well. Here's how you do well. You win tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down and diagonally, or you acquire as many squares as you can. Winner of each game receives $500 in cash. Third game is worth $1,000. Whoever amasses the most money will have a chance to drive away in a beautiful Chevrolet. As always, our challenger starts. Ken, pick a square. Remember, you earn that square by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square. Melissa and Joan Rivers, please. Aha, Melissa and Joan. Melissa and Joan, according to the book The New Etiquette, if your daughter returns from college with her new boyfriend, whom, he, whom you consider to be a real doofus, let's say, should you tell her that you don't like him? What's a, do what's a doofus? <laughs> what's a doofus? Not someone you'd want to be a, kind of a, a loser. A loser. <laughs> um, according to The New Etiquette? Yeah, should you, should you say this guy is not too cool? I don't think so. I go by the letter with Melissa's boyfriends. MBA, PhD, DDS. <laughs> but um, I, uh, I don't think so. I think you just keep your mouth shut and hope that Doofus will take a walk. Dan, do you agree or disagree? She says, don't say anything. I will agree. Expressing disapproval of the child's choice of mate can do lasting damage to the parent-child relationship. X gets a square. <laughs> you must be a pretty good parent. Cheryl, over to you. Pick a square. Florence Henderson and Robert Reed. Florence Reedley. Henderson hey, and Robert Reed. Hey, Florence and Robert, as we get older, what's the first sense to go? On a man or a woman? Uh, no, I. <laughs> well, no, no, that's the second thing to go. Um, what? Common sense. No, no that's a good five senses. Well, I'll say uh, sight. Sight. Cheryl, what do you think? I agree. No, it's smell. Uh, X gets a square. Over to you, Ken. Pick a square. Siegel, please. From Good Morning America, film critic Joel Siegel. Hi, Joel. I'm ready. Joel, according to People magazine, his nickname in Hollywood is Money. And he won it all right here on Hollywood Squares. <laughs> Eddie Murphy's nickname is Money. 